is there a proper way to have sex? When people ask me this question, it makes me think that they are worried about doing sex in an improper way. This is Martha, I'm a clinical sexologist with a doctorate in human sexuality, and I'm from Eros Coaching. That's eroscoaching.com. When we talk about proper, we need to think about what do they mean by proper as opposed to improper. I have had people who actually use words like this, uh, we do sex the proper way. So it gets me really curious, what do you mean by proper? Oh yeah, that's when we put the penis into the vagina and do it properly. <laughs> And uh, it sounds super serious um, for the purpose of only procreation as opposed to just having fun. <laughs> and uh, we get caught up with proper, just as we get caught up with what's normal, what's common, what's average. And uh, we want to we want to be um, we want to fit in. And um, we need to recognize that we're not kids anymore, and we're not. Um, in this collective consciousness thing as well. We are also individuals and we sometimes get caught up with what other people are doing. Um, however, when it comes to sex, a lot of it happens in private. And so we don't really know what other people are doing. We might suspect, we might come up with little stories in our head that this is what they must be doing. And it actually doesn't make us feel good about ourselves. So when we talk about proper as opposed to improper, it makes me wonder what does improper mean? And uh, there is only one improper to me. And the improper is when you are having sex and you are doing it without consent. There are people who enjoy having some spanking um, during their lovemaking. And uh, for some people, even the spanking itself is, uh, is erotic enough for them to get enough of a charge to not feel that they must have an orgasm or ejaculation. And that by itself, the play sensation is good enough. So does that make it improper? No. Improper to me has to do with the fact that you're not getting consent. You're hurting someone without their permission. You're doing things to them because you want to and um, they uh, don't like it and have said that and you're still not listening. So that to me is uh, the big no, no. And certainly while we're on the topic of consent, it's very important to remember that um, somebody who is drowned is not capable of giving consent. So even though they say yes, you might find the next morning, maybe they might have big regrets. And so it's very important to know consent means that um, somebody is sober, somebody has said it, somebody, that person is allowed to change their mind at any point. So don't get sulky and manipulative when somebody changes their mind in the middle of a sexual act. Um, that person can accuse you of violating them. So that makes sex improper in my opinion. So this is Martha of Eros Coaching and I hope I've given you some food for thought. And if you have questions, drop me an email. I'm going to be making more videos and you can approach me at ask at eroscoaching.com and uh, I'll be making videos answering questions that I have selected. I don't think I'll be able to answer every single one of the questions and I definitely appreciate if you could talk a little bit and give me some context about who you are, where you come from, how old you are, things like that. So stay in touch, uh, stay well, and uh, keep loving yourself. Um, the world needs beautiful people like you who is uh, making the best of everything.